Hey everybody, it's Wiltshire12345. As many of you don't know, you can't play 5.55 or 6.0 games on 5.50 Gen Dash B2. But now you can. Be thanks, all thanks to the Japanese developer Yoshiro. He is a genius in homebrew, but otherwise, anyway, he has made a decryptor for all the games, so you can now decrypt them so that you can play it on 5.50 Gen Dash B2 which I'm going to show you today. Alright, now that we get started, you're going to need an ISO image that you've obtained legally, not illegally. I actually have the Gran Turismo PSP game myself. So, I used the UMD dumper to get it. Anyway, you're going to need UMD Gen and GameZ to CryptZ to do this process. First, what you need to do is you need to open up the ISO in UMD Gen, and then go to Extract Image, and then place it on your desktop. It may take somewhat of some time, but it does work to play games, which is very helpful, so just be patient. While this is decrypting, you're going to want to enable USB mode so you can drag and drop the GameZ to CryptZ in your game folder, which you're going to need later. Okay. Which I already have in here, so just drag and drop it in there. I'm not going to bore you guys to death, so I'm going to pause the video for now. Alright, the process is almost done. Just give it a second. Alright, now that that is done, you can close down UMD Gen for now. And open up the folder where you dumped the UMD image, which would be my desktop. And open up PSP Game. Go to SYSDIR and find the eboot.bin and copy it and paste it to your PSP. You have to paste it to the root of your PSP, so which I'm going to show you is right here. Alright, now that is done, you can exit out everything else. You can exit out of UM, or USB mode now, and I'm going to enable remote joy so you, can get, you guys can see what I'm doing. Alright, now what you need to do is go to the GameZ to CryptZ or Game Decryptor by Yoshiro B-2, which is right here as you can see on my screen. Just press X. You won't be able to see the process on the screen, but it's fairly simple. Okay, um, now you'll see a screen with writing on it. It'll be a black screen with white writing on it. Just press X. It'll say loading eboot.bin, found PSP encrypted files, and then it will decrypt the PSP files, and then it will exit. Alright, now that that is done, you can go to USB mode. Open up your PSP, and find the folder called decryptor in capitals. Find that, copy the eboot.bin to your desktop, and close your PSP down. Now find the folder that you dumped on your desktop before, go to PSP game, SYSDIR, and delete that eboot.bin in there, and drag the one that was decrypted in there. Now that is done, you open this up, you open the folder that you dumped, and copy the PSP game and UMD underscore data dot bin into UMD gen. So you're just going to drag and drop them in there, select both, and go to File, Save As, and Uncompressed ISO. And name it, uh, I don't know, Gran Turismo. It's going to be my example and it's gonna reconstruct the ISO image that you dumped before but it's gonna be decrypted so it will be able to play on 5.50 gen dash b2 which is very useful and 5.03 gen I forgot to mention that 
So people that are stuck on chicken with 5.03, you could play this game on it, which is very, very cool. Instead of, you know, going to original firmware and actually buying the game. It's almost done now. Alright, now that it's done, you can close down UMD Gen, find the ISO image you made before, go to your PSP, go to ISO on your on your root, go to category PSP, well I have category PSP because I have a plugin, and copy your image over. This may take a while since it's fairly large, so I'm gonna pause the video so I don't waste time and bore you guys to death. Alright, now it's almost done, so I'm going to enable Remote Joy once again. I'm going to exit of USB mode. Alright, now that I'm back on the PSP, it shall show up as a normal ISO image would. Except I'm going to start it. Actually, you can't see that it started because I don't have the right plugins enabled, but I'm going to show you in a second. I'm just going to restart my PSP so I can show you that I have the right... that it worked. Okay, sorry about the inconvenience there, guys. I forgot to enable uh, Remote Joy for the game section. That's why I didn't show up. Alright. Time to show you that Gran Turismo does work on 5.5 O-Gen dash B2. Alright. So I'm going to start it up. There we go. Now it's showing you. And... There we are. It started instead of actually giving me an error message saying it won't start. There you go guys, that's how you make 5.55 or 6.00 games work on 5.03 gen or 5.50 gen dash b2 and I hope this helped you guys and I hope you have fun with this. As you can see there it's loading and uh, actually yeah, why not? I'll give you guys a little bit of preview there.